Fight fans, so we just got word that George St. Pierre has signed a deal with Showtime and he's interested in fighting. And not just that, but his contract is almost up with the UFC. If you guys remember correctly, George St. Pierre was lined up to face Oscar De La Hoya uh, a couple months back, if I believe. Maybe even further than that. Might be in the earlier this year, I believe it was, that all that transpired. And then, of course, it fell through because Dana White said that George St. Pierre is not under contract with him still. Still owes him a fight and that his contract doesn't um, doesn't expire till a following year, I believe. So I can't exactly remember. Maybe it was last year this was about to happen. But nonetheless, this is what was about to transpire. Um, George St. Pierre wanted to box. He was going to do it and then he was stopped. But now he's out of the UFC contract. He can do whatever he wants to do. He's with Showtime. And it looks like he is going to box somebody. Now, in a previously video, I forgot to mention this. I mentioned about Anderson Silva pacing Roy Jones Jr. possibly. But what about this? What about a boxing match with these two legends? The king of the welterweights the, versus the king of the middleweights. Anderson Silva versus George St. Pierre. You guys are not going to tell me you wouldn't want to see that? I mean, yeah. If you put that as a headline or pay-per-view, 100% being like, oh, this is your main event? No, none of us are really want to pay to see that. But if you put that as a co-main event on something like of a Jake Paul fight, then you're going to tell me, no, you're not going to want to see that? Like, let's say, for example, hypothetically, we're, we're, we're fantasying here. We're, mix, we're, we're matchmaking here. We got Nate Diaz and Jake Paul as a headliner. Your co-main event, Anderson Silva versus George St. Pierre. Are you going to really tell me that you have a problem with that? No, you're not. Why? Because Anderson Silva still looks like, looks very good for his age, regardless. Maybe not against these young guys, like we saw with Jake Paul, but still looks good for his age. Then we see George St. Pierre. If you look at his Instagram, I follow his Instagram. He's always training. He's always in tip-top condition. Ever since he came down with that um, ulcerative colitis that he had, he found a new way, found a new uh, recipe for his health. He found a new um, training regimen for his health and being able to be able to train as hard as he does and still overcome that terrible disease that he has. You know, I believe he ended up getting that from overeating, from regur uh, basically putting down so much food to gain that middleweight, uh, that middleweight body frame that he had against Michael Bisping in their, I believe, what was it, 2017 fight. And he ended up getting himself sick and he got uh, ulcerative colitis. And so now he looks like oh, basically a brand new man. He came up with this new diet plan. He came up with this new training plan and he's just looking phenomenal. So I am very much looking forward to George St. Pierre. Coming back, looks like it's going to be in the boxing ring, and being able to see what he can do now. Now, I do not want, again, I do not want to see him go against these higher, um, these younger guys, these higher level guys. The guys that are going to go in there and try to mix it up. These guys that are going to possibly even hurt George. And George did an interview and he even said, I don't want to get punched or get into this uh, crazy competition, like back and forth. Because George has already done it all. He's, you know what? He's did what he needed to do in the sport. He is by far the GOAT. There is no other way in any shape or form at this moment, in my personal opinion, that anybody is more ahead or more of holding that GOAT championship status more than George St. Pierre. Guy who's not done PEDs, guy who's won two division, uh, two champions in two different divisions, and guy who has won 10 world championships, and a guy who has very much lost, like pretty much won majority of his rounds. Very, I mean, like very rare when he lo actually lost a round, if you really look at his fights. Maybe that Johnny Hendricks will speak for it. Of course, that one kick from um, uh, Carlos Condit, and we, we, we could go all day with this, but you know what I'm saying. George St. Pierre, by, uh, beyond words, is the GOAT. Beyond words is the GOAT of this. So be that as it may, who are we going to see him against? Like I just mentioned, you know, Anderson Silva unfortunately lost a fight. These guys, we had this fantasy matchup of these two guys matching up at one point in MMA, in the UFC. Back when, um, I believe, George St. Pierre fought Carlos Condit and Anderson Silva was there. And there was talks for a long time. What if these two guys finally go in there? We got the GOAT at middleweight and we got the GOAT at welterweight. What if we can actually see this happen? What do we, what, you know, can we actually make it happen? Can this actually go down? And I believe they tried making it happen. And I think at the time, George wasn't too comfortable going at middleweight. And he felt like maybe Anderson Silva was going to be too big or I'm not sure what the whole case was. But unfortunately for us fans, we didn't get to see that fight. Well, here we go. It may not be the fight that we want to see them at. It may not be at the time we want to see them at. It may not be uh, the cage that we want to see them at. But you know what? This might be somewhat 
of a way we do get to see them. So I would actually hope they do make that fight if Anderson Silva still wants to continue to fight. If Anderson Silva still wants to continue to do this, which more likely it does sound like he does. It does sound like he wants to try to get in there and try to mix things up still. But I would love to see this go down. It Outside of that, I really can't see anybody at the moment. Uh, maybe a Tyron Woodley because I know they both want to. Uh, I know Tyron Woodley had called George Pierre out for a long time as well. So I do not know 100%. Whether or not that would go down, um, maybe. I You never say never. So, it's a strong possibility. Very strong possibility. So, yeah, guys. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think George St. Pierre should go against. Should be a possibly Anderson Silva fight. Should it be maybe a Tyron Woodley fight. Whether it's, you know, and of course, we're talking boxing here. And who knows? Maybe he can actually do something in the cage. You know, he might be able to step in the cage one more time. You never know. But let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.